So in the mid-90s, 1997, 1998, we not only reorganized, but really made a lot of big changes at the IRS. Why were we doing that? It was really because there was a widespread perception by many stakeholders, notably the Congress, the press, you know, the White House. The IRS was not succeeding in its mission. It was being criticized for many quarters for not serving the taxpayers the way it should. And so there was a need to make changes, including reorganizing. Transformation is a journey and that it needs to be looked at as not a program that happens in a set period of time, but it is a journey that happens over time. It starts with really what we call purpose-driven transformation. It starts with having a defined purpose. The why do we exist question is incredibly important. And then recognizing that transformation is hard and it requires focused effort and time. We know that change of the magnitude that the president or a cabinet secretary is asking is not accomplished by one individual. You can use the term, it takes a village, it takes an army, it takes a community, but there's a lot of other players and stakeholders that have to drive change. If you are one of the people in, let's say, the senior executive service that's in the middle of this, you know, you really have a choice to make. Are you gonna just worry about this and, and worry how it's gonna affect you or how it's gonna affect what you're doing, or are you gonna be try to make the best of it. Um, because really, it's a lot more satisfying to try to make the best of it. You may not fully succeed, but you're gonna have a lot more likelihood of success, and you're certainly gonna feel better about it if you, if you weigh in on the side of, let's see how we can make this work.